So, you know when you die in Valheim and you have to return to the crime scene to recover your items, but it's pretty far and dangerous and you just lost your best gear and you don't even know if you have enough time to get there before nightfall? Or maybe your viking heart yearns for adventure on the open seas, but you don't know the time and sailing at night is basically inviting sea serpents to attack your boat. Or when your pickaxe breaks in the middle of a mining sesh and when you come to fix it it's not clear if it's worth going back and keep mining or just plant some carrots and call it a night. If only there was some way to know just how much daylight is left until it gets cold and full of terrors. Thankfully, there is. And if you read the title of this video, then you probably already know that today we're talking about sundials. Sundials are a pretty popular topic in Valheim. Not only because telling the time can be pretty useful, but also because they can look pretty awesome. There are plenty of Valheim sundials online and some of them are quite handsome, so give those a look if you're curious. However, I don't focus much on aesthetics in this video, I was more interested in the practical side of it. And after a bunch of experiments I came up with several designs increasing in complexity from the simple but practical to models that accurately predict almost the second how much time is left in the day. Now I don't want to brag but I may have just built the most accurate Valheim sundial in the history of the world expecting People Magazine to call any day now. So stick around to see how you can build it yourself or get the right sundial that best suits your viking needs. The simplest level of a sundial is no sundial at all. You can actually estimate the time whenever you're able to see the sun. No matter where you are, just look at the sky until you see which direction is the brightest, right click to turn your entire body that way, and then you can look at your mini map or your big map, and the direction you're pointing towards shows approximately how much time has passed since sunrise. Just remember, the sun rises in the east, just like real life, goes down south, unlike real life, and eventually sets in the west. So just imagine an arc like this, that is basically your entire day, and wherever you're pointing on that arc you should know how much of the day has passed like about half about a third a quarter and so on but a quarter of what exactly how long is a day anyway well the day in Valheim is 30 minutes long more precisely 9 minutes of night and 21 minutes of light which means there are 21 minutes from sunrise to sunset or from cold to cold or from here to here. So if you look at the sun and it's just over halfway past the middle, then you can roughly estimate you got about so 21 divided by 2, a bit less than that, I guess about 9 minutes or so left in the day in which you will not be cold. Knowing this, you can also use your rested buff to keep track of time after you wake up. I mean, it's basically an on-screen clock. If you have a comfort level of 14, then you get exactly 21 minutes of the rested buff, basically a countdown to the day's end. Assuming you actually leave the house, the timer won't go down if you spend your day in comfort like some kind of a viking poser. Anyway, these are pretty simple and reliable methods to estimate time, but if you want a bit more precision and visual clarity in your timekeeping, then you might want to make a physical sundial somewhere around your base. And the simplest way to do that is to just build a pole of some kind, go north of it and just draw out a quick semicircle at its base. It doesn't need to be perfect, a semicircle-ish shape will do for this rudimentary design, which might not win any beauty contest, but it's pretty much all you'll need. If the sun is out, a quick glance that this thing will tell you if the day is just beginning, almost over, halfway through or so on. Just remember the semicircle must be on the north side of your pole. Remember how this arc on the map defines the motion of the sun when you look at it? Well, the sundial measures the sun's shadow, so this is the arc we're interested in. Just keep that in mind and you'll never forget the correct orientation of your sundial. You can take this simple design and have all kinds of fun with it. You can make it bigger, more round, you could build it with wood or stone, or you could add the sides to the pole for a more authentic sundial look. You can add a roof, some dividing lines or signs for dawn, dusk and noon or even complete the circle to make it look more like a clock. Although still only one side will do the actual timekeeping. However you do it, this basic concept will probably be enough for practical purposes. I don't think you really need more accuracy than this, it's not like you're making a souffle. A rough estimation is generally enough for your standard viking activities. Although I probably shouldn't discourage people from continuing to watch this video. You know what? Never mind. This is not enough. This is ugly. This is stupid. Only a loser viking would use a sundial like this. Real vikings, and I'm talking real vikings, have giant sundials that can tell the time to the second. And look at this. Apparently, it's time to subscribe. Sundials become more accurate the bigger they are. So the bigger your circle, the bigger its resolution, so to speak. And by the way, when I say circle, I actually mean a 16-sided polygon, also known as a hexadecagon, which is the best approximation of a circle that you can build in Valheim by simply spinning once between each side. Using longer sides will result in a larger circle, and to find its center, just draw out the diameter uniting the middles of the east and west sides. If there's no obvious middle, then you can just approximate 
estimated like this or use a door for precise measurement like this. However you do it, this line completes your semicircle, so delete the rest of it if you wish. And the middle of this line is where your pole will go, which you might also need to approximate by eye or fine using a door, depending on the size of it. In my experiments preparing for this video, I built multiple semicircles of various sizes, ranging from 1 meter to 12 meters, which is way too big to actually be practical, but just right if you want to see the seconds tick away. Look at that. Anyway, somewhere in between 1 and 12 meters, you're sure to find the best size for your own sundial. And obviously, the bigger your semicircle, the taller your pole needs to be to reach the point with the shadow. Keep in mind that the shadow will be shortest in the middle, so if it reaches in the middle, it definitely reaches everywhere else too. Now, with this rudimentary model from earlier, you could easily see at a glance about how much time had passed in the day. But with a big one like this, you just can't see the whole thing at once, so you need some kind of time indicators along the way to help you out. Some numbers just like a real clock. You can do this by adding some walls along the arc and then some signs on those walls on which you can write whatever measurements you need. Now, I spent a lot of time contemplating on how I could best approximate a real clock with this thing. Something you can look at and say, ah, look, it's 6.30 or whatever. I try to make a 12-hour or 24-hour system approximating sunrise at 7 a.m. and sunset at 7 p.m. But between the 21-minute day and the 9-minute night and the 7 and 2 half sides of our semicircle, the math just didn't add up, no way, no how. So I went to my thinking chair to ponder some more and realized that a 24 hour clock would actually be pretty stupid. It's useful on earth, no doubt, but in Valheim, even if I did make a decent one, what would be the point of knowing it's three o'clock? I mean, what does that even mean? You would have to constantly convert Valheim hours into real world times, which would make things way more complicated than they need to be. The simple and obvious solution was to just make a sundial that measures minutes, all 21 of them, letting you know exactly how many there are left in the day, which is the information that you actually need, not some made up time you have to convert into real minutes. So. How do you measure 21 minutes in a sundial? Well, I did some googling and found out that 21 is actually the same as 7 times 3. So if we look at our various semicircles, we can see that one of them, this one, is mainly composed out of 7 walls made up of 3 meters each. There's your 21 right there. Plus the two half sides, I know, but let's just ignore those for now. If you wanted to, you could just put a sign on every meter of this thing, giving you exactly 21 signs, one for each minute. This way the shadow shows you how many minutes have passed in the day. Kind of. This design is not exactly accurate. It's a good approximation, but the values don't really match up very well. Where the shadow falls on the 6, for example, is not where the shadow would actually fall after 6 minutes. It's close enough, sure, but the error can be up to 2 minutes at some points. Simply unacceptable. Although it looks like it would work, so if you want to impress your friends, you can just build this and lie to them. However, you can make this 21 meter arc more accurate by moving the pole forward so that it's just ahead of the line which unites the ends. And instead of just writing the numbers straight up, write 0 to 1 on the first sign and then just make each sign an interval. This shifts the numbers enough so that the sundial is way more accurate than earlier, although still not perfect. And I mean, what are you gonna do? If you want even more accuracy than this, then I'm not even sure how that would be possible. I mean, you'd have to film the game a whole day and night, import that into an editing software, use the time code to see precisely where the shadows would land, and then use Photoshop to make some kind of a detailed template that you can follow no matter the size of your sundial. But what kind of a loser has time for something like that. So I filmed the whole day and night and I used the point where the cold ends to determine the beginning of the day. Then I analyzed the shadows after one minute, two minutes, three minutes and so on to see exactly where they fall and where my signs should go for each minute that passes in the day. You can pause the video here and use this chart to help guide you. Just pick a size, build it and place your signs in the appropriate places. You will notice that in some cases the shadows fall exactly right through the middle of a segment, perfect for placing a sign, but sometimes it falls right in between two of the sides complicating things. You can get around this by just approximating the correct position as best you can using this chart. I mean, it doesn't need to be perfect. Or make it absolutely perfect by placing signs all along the way and then adding lines kind of like a ruler so you can shift the numbers to the exact spot by just adding more lines to the left or to the right of them. Right now, when the shadow points at a number, that's pretty much dead on accurate as confirmed by the time codes of my video. Just use this chart to make sure your numbers end up exactly where they 
they need to be. You can use lines or dots or something like this, making it look even more like a ruler, or even add half minutes along the way if your dial is big enough. Also, I numbered each minute in this order just to make things simple when I test my video against my time codes. So when the shadow is on five, I can check if it's been five minutes. However, once I've confirmed that the positions are correct, and they are, it would probably be more practical to reverse the order of these numbers so that the dial shows you how many minutes are left in the day as opposed to how many minutes have passed in the day. Pick whichever one you like, I don't care. Anyway, another thing I should mention is that even the biggest sundial will have problems detecting the first and last minute of the day. The shadow is only barely visible under perfect weather conditions if there are no trees or mountains or anything that could block out the sun even miles away. The shadow becomes more and more visible as the sun rises higher and higher into the sky. Also, I should mention that strangely enough, the sundial works at night too, because if the sky is clear, the moon also emits a glow that produces a faint shadow, which you could follow to tell how long there is in the night. However, because the night is shorter, the moon's shadow moves a lot faster, getting from one side to the other in only 9 minutes as opposed to 21. So, if you really want, you can add a second set of measurements underneath the first one, a set that measures the 9 minutes of the night. Don't worry. I got a chart for that too. Having multiple rings of measurements and playing with the various text effects, you can really get some pretty cool astrolabe, ancient technology, early computer type of vibes that make it look pretty awesome if you ask me, and also measure time with Swiss precision. If you really want to go all out mad scientist, then you can make a wall around your base that also acts as a giant sundial, but maybe that's an idea for another video. But look. I'm no fool, I know you're probably not gonna build a monstrosity like this. I provided the template so you can make an accurate sundial any size you want, but I get it, who's got time for templates? Let's make things a lot simpler and just build a decent sized sundial that is accurate to the minute. All you need to do is draw a semicircle out of 2 meter beams, don't forget that the ends are only 1 meter, otherwise it wouldn't be a semicircle. Connect the ends at a 4 meter pole at the middle of that line, then just like before, add walls along the sides and signs all along the walls. Now you just need to fill these in with text just like I did here and the sundial will work close to perfection. All you need to do is go down in the description and copy and paste the text from here onto each of the signs and your sundial will also be right on the money on every single number. Don't worry, I did all the trial and error. You just need to do the copy and pasting and you got yourself a pretty and precise Viking timekeeping device. If you build a crazy sundial, then you also need a nice base to put it in, so maybe check out my other videos for inspiration. I have a dream house that looks nice and is super comfortable, and a factory that makes smelting smooth and sexy. Check those out if you haven't, subscribe if you want, like if you like, and I will see you in Valhalla at the exact correct time.